Alléluia. God bless you, my people of God. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. The place of the place you hold, you have. Hallelujah to the most high God. We bless God. God bless you all powerfully. Happy Sunday. Happy new week in the name of Jesus. We bless God Almighty, my people of God. Our God is good all the time. Our Lord is so faithful. He's so lovely. He has done so much, so wonder, so marvelous, so great for us. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father, for your protection for the gift of life, for all you have done, for your mercy upon us. My people of God, we bless God. You are alive today. It's not by your power. It's not by your strength. It's by the Spirit of God. It's by the grace of God, the mercy of God. Many people wake up that they not see today. Not because we are holier or we are better than them. No. It's by the mercy of God we are alive. We give God the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I worship you, Lord, my Father. Thank you, my Daddy. I appreciate you, Jesus. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all mightily powerfully in the name of Jesus, my people of God. I just want, before we start the word of God, let's open our heart and pray. Let's close our heart and pray. I mean, I have to say, let's close our heart, please. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord Almighty, we thank you, Lord. We worship you. We bless your name, Lord Almighty. We thank you, Lord. As your word is coming forth, oh Lord, may I not speak on our whole, oh Lord. Father, may I not speak on my heart. I don't know your word. Teach me your word, oh Lord. Lord, this word I'm going to speak, may you deliver us, may you set your children free. Those are the captivity, those are in the bondage, oh Lord. Father, Lord, set their free, hope, put their heart, their spiritual blindness. Your word said, the God of this world have blinded their heart, they have made them to know the need the truth. The truth is hidden for them because of the God of this world. Father, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, may them be set free, may they be free tonight, may they be free tonight, they may be free, oh Lord, this hour in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, this hour depends on the time they have, oh Lord, night, morning, evening, may they set your children free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. I cover this world with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah, my people of God. God bless us mightily, powerfully in the name of Jesus Christ. I have a message to say today. I want to talk about sin. Sin. Grace is not a license for sin. So that is what I'm going to talk about today. Grace, 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 grace. People are talking about grace. Grace, they are not talking about the truth. And Jesus Christ is the truth and the grace too. But they talk about grace. They are seeking by grace, 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 grace. But what about the truth? They are not talking about the truth, which is Jesus Christ, that we have no. That we have no. I pray that God will help us. I pray that God Almighty will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Today I'm going to talk about the topic. About the topic of grace is not a license for sin. Grace is not a license for sin. So people, are, they, they receive this grace. They feel that the grace that they have is for them to sin. No, grace is not for you to sin. Grace is for you to overcome sin. You cannot, you cannot say you have grace and believe in sin. No, the grace of God that is given to us is for us to overcome sin. We need to overcome sin by the grace of God. So that is why this grace is given to us. People of God, don't be deceived. That is why you need to study the word of God by yourself. So that you not be deceived by the, the, by the heresy, by the doctrine of men that is not of God. So you need to run. You need to run for short doctrine and that is making you to say that you can sin as you are. The Lord has died for The Lord has saved you. Once say forever say. It's not a doctrine of God, my people of God. Please, I'm telling you and I today, grace is not for you to continue to sin. Grace is not a license for sin. Grace is not a license for sin. I repeat again, grace is not a license for sin. Let's go to the word of God, Romans chapter 6, verse 1. What the Bible said about grace. He said, what, he said, what shall we say then? Romans chapter 6, verse 20. He said, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abide? The Bible said in verse 2, said, for, so for God forbid, how shall we how shall we that that are dead to sin live any longer there him? Yes. So grace is not for us to sin. Grace is for us to come out of sin. Grace is for us to be dead to sin. We need to run from sin. We need to dead to sin. It's not for us to continue in sin. Please, my people of God, grace is for us to run from sin. He said, verse, he said no yet know that so many of us are baptized into Jesus Christ, where we were baptized into death. So verse, I'm going to verse, verse 5. It says, For we have been planted together in the likeness of his death. We shall not also be in the likeness of his reservation. His reservation. 
knowing that verse 8 now knowing that be raised from the dead no more dead has no dominion over him for he that is dead is dead unto sin verse 10 for he that is dead is dead unto sin once but he that he that liveth he liveth unto god so my people of god so the grace that you have is not for you to sin grace is for you to run from sin please stop sinning let us stop sinning sin is a sin god is sin as our chapter 59 verse 2 he says our iniquity that separates us from him so the lord is telling us that we should not sin no more jesus christ is coming soon i want to talk about the rapture is very close the lord is coming let's prepare let's run from sin grace is not a license to sin my brother and sisters, my mommies and daddies in the, in the Lord, let's run in Christ, let's run from sin. God is sin. He says it's our iniquity that separates us from Him. Our God is faithful, our God is loving. God is not a God of sin, He's a God of holy, righteousness, and pure, purified. There's nothing in Him. He's a true God, He's a perfect God. All His way is perfect. So, we as a believer, as a child of God, we are Christ ambassador, we are Christ follower, we are disciples of Christ. Let's run from sin. Today I'm talking about grace, it's not a license to sin. Run from sin, you cannot continue with sin because of grace. No, the Bible says, God forbid, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. Sin is what make men to run from that make God to run from us. God did not hate us, it's hate the sin that we have seen. Please let's repent and come to Jesus. As we do so, God will bless us. I also prepare that Jesus Christ is coming soon, very near. There is sure it's near let's prepare let's prepare prepare ourselves i also pray for those and the world that have not known that have not received god because of the god of this world that blinded their heart that the lord opened their eyes to see the truth in the name of jesus that is the message of today the topic of today is a just very short message i want to talk about grace is not a license to sin so let us stop sin and walk the will of god and follow the commandment of god and obey his commandment i love what god ate and I love what God ate and ate what he ate. He ate sin. He don't hate us. So my brothers and sisters, please come to Jesus. Repent. If you have not received Jesus Christ, I hear him a message. Come to Jesus. Christ. receive him as your Lord, as your personal Savior. He came to die for us. John 3, 3, 16. For God so loved the world. He said, first of all, he gave his only begotten son to come and die for us. So come and die for the sin that is not commit. He has changed our He take our sin and he give us his, uh, his, his, give us his righteousness. So we need to be righteous. We need to be pure. We need to be clean. We don't need to continue in sin. We don't need to be continue sinning against God and, 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 and willingly. It's wrong. Please, I pray that God will deliver us all in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, my people of God. Thank you all. Please, for watching this video, subscribe and like as we do so. The Lord Almighty will bless you all and empower us in the name of Jesus. Shalom, everyone. God bless you. Hallelujah to the most high God. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye. Shalom. Thank you.